down. Welcome, welcome to Papa Stash Pop. So what we're gonna do is a fun kind of swung song today. It's a good time, you know. I gotta where you just can't help but move it, and people will be like, "Dude, what's that song you're playing? It's awesome!" And you'll say, "Well, you know, I learned it on this cool channel." <laughs> Anyways, so. Click the link down below. That is your ticket to ride on the request zone. It comes into a nice little package for me of just requests. I don't have to filter through anything. It's just what you want right there. So click that link down below and we will get to your request as quickly as possible. Let's zoom in for a closer look. All right, so let's break down this first part of the song, the verse, and we'll go to the first chorus and then we'll take it from there. So we're gonna do... Now that is what we're going to play four times, right? We're going to start with an A chord. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this first finger up onto the second fret A string and then make a D chord with these two guys. So my middle and ring finger. And hit those middle four strings, A through B. Then I'm going to go back to this A chord shape and I'm going to put my ring finger on the fourth fret of the A, which gives us that. And then I'm going to go to a D, but I'm not going to play the bottom string, the high E. I'm going to make it a D suspended second. That's what that's called. Okay? And I'm going to repeat that pattern four times, but on the fourth time, I'm going to strum that D to get us into the chorus. So I'll play the last two. I've done is just gone down, up, down, up. So really slowly, it's. Okay, and just quick, it sounds like this. Now that gets us into the chorus, which is just going back and forth basically from E to D. And I'm gonna keep that E string open again. Now I'm gonna do two different shapes of E, one typical like this, and then one I'm gonna take off my ring finger. Now the rhythm is going to go like this. So I'm going to go down, down, up, and then up, down, up. But the up, down, up has a swing feel to it. So we got. Okay, so slowly. Okay, so. This chorus is going to sound like this. Okay, so what I've done is I'm going to do one of the strokes going, right? Then I'm going to take off this finger, my ring finger on the E chord. So it's got, and then I'm going to go to a D and I'm going to do that normal the first time through. Now the second time through, same thing on the E. But now I'm going to go to the D. Now I started out the same way. And now I'm going to go down, down, up, switch fingers. Right now I'm on the second fret of the G and the B. And then go down, down, and then on the up, I'm going to take it off. So we got... more time like normal then on the fourth time we go to the D right so we got so we're gonna one two three four up down up down and then now we're gonna have that swung feel on the chords we learned in the beginning so it's gonna be like right so it's gonna be So I'm 
just going down strokes muted. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Same pattern, I think it's four times. This time we don't do the we just go straight into the chorus, so that'd be like this. instead of doing the stabs on the D, it's gonna, well, you can do the same thing. Now this is a little bit tricky. So if you're up for a challenge, by all means, do it this way. If not, do what you did before and that'll get it, you into the bridge. So it's gonna go D, then I'm gonna use my pinky to grab the fourth fret of the A. Then we're gonna do that chord we did that looks like a B and a D together. Then we're gonna take that finger off so now it's an open A, and then we're going to go to the G sharp, or the fourth fret of the E. So it's going to be... Right? And then that'll get us into the bridge. So let's check that out. Okay, so now after we've done that walk down, what we're going to do is pretend we're making an F sharp minor chord, because we can pretend, right? Even if you're an adult, you can still pretend, right? So what we're going to do, get that real purdy chord. Now what we're going to do is we just take that first finger, and now we put it on the G string second fret, and then you're going to leave the B and the E open. I'm going to play from the A string down. Okay, back to that D. Now you can play the A like that, where it's a suspended chord as well, so it's just these two strings, D and G. So we got... Or you can play normally. And then... Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add one chord, and we're going to go back to that kind of muted swung feel. Now what I've done is we've done the same thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to like I'm making an E chord and put my ring finger on the fourth fret of the E. Okay, so we got... All I did there is I went to a G chord, D, and then we're going to do an E for twice as long. And then it goes back into the verse progression, which is just a guitar solo. So it goes back into the... Right? Blah, blah, blah. Go and keep going, just you're powering at home, you're doing awesome, people are freaking out, they're like, yeah, you're amazing, right? Because you're playing the song good. And then the song basically plays the same thing, but has a little bit different of the ending. So let's go over the ending. Okay, so now we're officially in the home stretch. After the guitar solo, we can go back to the verse, and the first two are kind of picked. <laughs> Right? You can finger pick it or... And then back up. Right? You're building it. People are ready to explode and then you give it to them, right? Now on this D chord the next time through, like we did in the beginning when we strummed it really fast, 
We're gonna do that, but twice as long. Right, so you just added two times the amount of the D chord, and then we go back into the chorus, and then the chorus ends like, you know, it goes through and plays like normal, and then at the end of the song, it starts doing this stuff where you have some moving bass lines, but you can keep it really basic in the background by just doing this. All I did was went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And then mute it out. And that is how you end a song. Bam! Like a punch in the face. <laughs> Yes, way to go, awesome job. I heard that song, you know, that's one of the songs you hear and you're like, I'm gonna learn that song just because it's fun and it just you can't help but, you know, kind of grooving and moving and now it's everywhere, which is awesome for him. Way to go, buddy, good song. So anyways, click that link down below. That is your ticket to ride again. Thank you as always so, so much for your support and checking in here at Pop A Stash Pop. If you like what you see, spread the word, tell your friends, it'll be beautiful. We'll be one big, huge guitar playing family. All right, catch you next time.